finally, the WWE is getting out of the Performance Center and into a larger, empty arena. Huh. I'm Chris Wolver, the wrestling vlogger who always tells it like it is. On Friday, March 13th, as the coronavirus is starting to spread throughout the country, the WWE made the move to cancel all TV tapings and arenas and retreated to its performance center in Orlando. This was not just for the safety of the superstars and staff, but also for the safety of the WWE universe at large. It became obvious that mass attendance gatherings were no longer acceptable to maintain public health. And for five months, every Raw, SmackDown, main event, and pay-per-view have showed live and or taped from the PC. And for the first few months, the PC was empty of everyone but staff and superstars. They went from being in front of tens of thousands of fans to zero. And WrestleMania 36 will go down in history as the least attended WrestleMania ever. They tried their best to get us good quality matches during this time, but being stuck in the PC for the last five months has taken its toll on everyone. From the talent to the creative staff, ratings have plummeted across all shows, even NXT in nearby Full Sail University. And desperate measures have been instituted by the writers that even Daredevil could see through. Things like the bar fight, the eye for an eye fight, Raw Underground, and the Retribution are essentially the WWE spray painting their lips and teeth and sh shouting, WITNESS ME! Now, though, there seems to be some daylight. Rumors ran rampant, probably started by the WWE, but whatever that the WWE was going to have an event in the Amway Center in Orlando, the home of the Orlando Magic of the NBA. Of course, the NBA is crammed into the bubble at Disney's wide world of sports now, so the Amway Center is wide open. This rumor seemed to be confirmed when WWE production trucks were located outside the arena. And it was further confirmed on SmackDown when Michael Cole announced the next SmackDown would not be emanating from the PC. Then it was said that a WWE had an agreement with the arena through October. So I guess that solidifies it, even though the WWE has yet to make an official announcement. It is quite possible that the WWE will be moving at least some of its cameras and production staff to the arena, and that some, if not all, of the upcoming TV tapings will be from the arena. As for SummerSlam, I'm pretty damn certain the Amway Center will host it this year. I mean, we've already seen what a major pay-per-view is like from the PC. I mean, it wasn't bad, but, you know. The one thing that threw some people was that Michael Cole said something about the WWE Universe being involved in the next SmackDown. That made it almost, almost sound like they were going to let the fans in. But Orlando is still under a lockdown when it comes to big crowds for now. We'll see if the McMahon influence over Governor DeSantis will change that. But if that ends up being true, I pray they do it right. I mean, do it like that concert they had in England last week. Groups stay together and sectioned off parts, limit capacity, masks are mandatory, and check the temperature before coming in. For now, though, I'd be fine with having the NXT superstars and PC hopefuls staying at ringside like they have been over the last few months. Maybe even pump in some WWE 2K20 crowd noise, or hell, find some cardboard cutouts of Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, and the like, and put them in some of the stands. In any case, I'm all for this. Being in an actual arena that's spread out more seems more like home to the WWE superstars than a cramped PC. And if NXT has a taping or two there, maybe they'll finally beat AEW in the ratings. Also, getting out to someplace new might finally snap the writers out of their funk and they can come up with good storylines. Ones that will last a fair bit, unlike that truth will be revealed crap. And who knows? 
if fans do come in and they don't get sick or get anyone else sick, maybe the WWE can spread out to other Florida arenas until a vaccine arrives. I mean, Tampa, Gainesville, Jacksonville, Tallahassee, they're all wide open. Think of it like going back to the early days of the WWE. Back then, they stayed around the Northeast and Midwest before branching out to the whole country and eventually the whole world. Now, they are a Florida-based entity, staying in and around the state until it's safe enough to conquer the country and the world again. <coughs> Sorry, just please stay away from anywhere from West Palm Beach to Miami. That Tri-County area is still a hotbed even more so than Orlando. I, for one, am looking forward to seeing what the WWE and the Amway Center has in store. It may not be much right now, but baby steps are needed in this case. I mean, we don't want a third wave of COVID-19 hitting us like Braun Strowman slammed Alexa Bliss, right? I'm Chris Wolver, the wrestling vlog, who always tells it like it is. Stay safe, and I'll see you.